I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will link the trigonometric ratios with their related acute angles. The equation here is state related acute angles to state an equivalent expression. So that is to say sine 160 could be equal to sine of what, right? That is what the meaning is. Let us see how to figure it out. Uh, so let's do the first one which is uh, sine of 160. Now 160 is an angle which is in quadrant 2. So let us say this position represents the angle 160 degrees. Correct? That means the acute angle is 20 degrees. 180 minus 60. Correct? So the acute angle is 20 degrees. Secondly, we know that all are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan in 3, and cos in 4. Since the sine value should be positive, the acute angle in this quadrant will be 20. We could write straight away this as sine of 20 degrees. Both will give us the same value. That is how you have to state each of these expressions in terms of its related acute angle. So I hope the concept is clear. You can pause the video and answer the other three. So let's look into the next one, which is cos of 320 degrees. So when we say cos of 320 degrees, we mean that the terminal arm is in quadrant 4, right? In quadrant 4, cos is positive, correct? Cos is positive. In quadrant 1, also cos is positive, right? Now, what is the acute angle here? If principal angle is 320, this is 320, that has to be 360 minus 20, 320, which is 40 degrees. And therefore, this could be written as cos of 40 degrees. Do you see that? So that is how it should be answered. Now, the next one here is tan 135 degrees. Now, tan 135 degrees, let me draw here, will be in quadrant 2, right, with the related acute angle of 45 degrees. Since tan is negative here, right, so here actually sine is positive, tan is positive in quadrant 3 and 1. Here tan is negative. Since tan is negative, we can look for an angle which is giving us negative result. So it could be in quadrant 4, right? So we could write this as, uh, as an angle which is 45 less than 360 or 10 of, let's say, 360 degrees minus 45, right? That is one way of doing it. The other way is we could also think about the uh, other in, in quadrant 1. It is positive, but we could write this as minus of 10 45 degrees. Do you see that? So we could even write minus of tan 45 degrees, right? So these are different ways of doing it. Uh, you could always take away 45 from here and then you get 5, 1 and 3, 315 degrees as the angle, correct? And this case is 45. Now let's look into the last one here, which is sine 300. Now sine 300 means that you are again in quadrant 4, where the acute angle is 60 degrees. So the idea is to find the acute angle. And the second thing is whether it is negative or positive. Now, this one is negative with, since you are in quadrant 4. Sine is also negative in quadrant 3. So an acute angle of 60 degrees in quadrant 3 will also give us the same result. So it becomes 180 plus 360. So for this, the answer is sine 180 degrees plus 60 degrees, correct? Which is sine 240 degrees. So that is how you could get the correct answers. Well, there could be variations to this. You could also use a negative sine at times. Since 60 is the acute angle, we could also write minus sine 60 degrees, that will also give you the same result as sine 300, right? However, the preferred answer will be sine of 240 degrees. All are correct, by the way, but the preferred will be 
uh, without using negative signs, correct? So I hope that helps you to understand the concept. Uh, let's move on with this. Thanks for watching.